Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayyam, and welcome back to the channel. Right? Today we gonna solve this interesting, easy problem. It's marked as medium, but this is a very, very, very standard problem. Many of the people might have solved it. Many might got stuck, but trust me, this is not at all a medium problem. I would rate this problem as easy medium problem, easy medium, and the rating would be six point five, or you can say seven. It's really easy. Don't worry about it. The description might be confusing, but it is not at all. We'll see the intuition. We'll see the detailed walkthrough of the dry run of an example, how it is working, and we'll some, learn some basic concept from this question also. Maximum level sum of a binary tree. Given the root of a binary tree, the level of the root is one, the level of its children is two, and so on. Return the smallest level x such that the sum of the values of the nodes at the level x is minimal. Okay, so they are talking about perfectly level by level that gives a direct hint to the problem it's a level order traverse level order traverse and don't worry you don't know about uh, about this traversal we'll talk about this traversal in this video also so that you can solve any problem related to level order traverses first try to understand that how it is working so if i talk about the level order traversal is that nothing but you just mention all the levels in a particular sense and change the levels so this is like one then it's like seven zero and it's like seven minus eight so this is a level or a traversal this is level one this is level two this is level three and somehow we need to compute the sum of each level so let's say this is one this is seven this is minus one and since this is the largest sum and it's like if there is a tie whichever is the smaller level i want to return that level so that's the last line statement it means the same so Obviously, we'll answer level two. We don't need to return the sum. Remember that we need to return the level. Okay. So level order traverse. How you can traverse a tree into a level order fashion? There are multiple ways of doing different traversal. This is one of the traversal, a very famous traversal. Let's say to understand with the help of this example itself. Okay. One and seven and zero. We what we want? We want all the elements in a particular order. At each level, we want. We know we should know that at what level, what are the elements are present. So what we do, we use a Q data structure, Q data structure for this traversal. It's very important. We'll come to the intuition why Q is being used. But yeah, we use the Q data structure. Okay. What we do, what we do, we initially push the one node, we push the one node into our Q. Okay. Now remember that. Remember some things, and then. After seeing the dry run, you will be able to understand why this is working, because some things are first told, and then you can understand it. Okay, then let's say so. What we are saying is, whatever is the size of the queue, right? Whatever is the size of the queue currently, you will make it as size, and we will run a while loop till that time, and whatever elements at that times available, available will be. The number of elements in the in that level will be the number of elements in that level. Okay, so that seems confusing, but don't worry. Just wait for a while. So let's say you got one. Okay, so you push. Okay, your size is what one. That means your level ends. Only one element is in in your level. Now what you gonna do? From this level, you try to obviously go to the next level. So you put all your childrens for preparing for the next level. So what are you gonna do? You are obviously gonna put your left. Obviously you gonna put your right. Right, same, absolutely right. So what are you gonna do? You gonna put your left. Obviously it should be not null. If it is null, we cannot do anything. But if it is a uh, null, a uh, not null. So what are you gonna do? You gonna push it. You gonna push it. How we are traversing is also very very important. We are traversing like this. Like this, like this, okay, in this fashion, in this fashion. So, okay, so what we we got, we got one initially. Then we popped out one, and then what we pushed, we pushed their uh, children. What are the children available? Seven and zero. Okay, right, same, right. And you go out of the while loop. Now remember that you push two elements into the queue. Right, you push two elements into the queue, and again, again, 
your uh, what you can say your skew size will become over because firstly your loops run for one one time you push two elements you got two elements these are your you know next level remember that now here also your level changes here also your level changes remember that now your level will remain intact till these elements do not become empty means your uh, loop will run for two times okay now you will push sevens left and right you put sevens left and right which is 7 then minus 8 but is there anything of zero no nothing is there so you gonna again stop the level there is nothing left right so you got what you gonna do so these are you can say the levels are differentiated 7 minus 8 7 0 1 the simple idea is what you gonna do you gonna initialize your queue and you push to the root obviously you start gonna from the root level right you gonna start from the root level and then what you gonna do or you will run the loop until your queue becomes empty this is the overall traversal okay this is the overall traversal okay that is perfectly fine then what you gonna do you gonna find out the current size of the queue whatever is the current size of the queue that much elements are available in the current level we are talking about so you can say that int int uh, size is equals to q dot size right and then what are you going to do you going to run that for that much amount of time while size minus minus now remember that whatever element present in this you what you going to pop out or you can say that the node part is in the current level whatever you are pushing that are for the next level but whatever is we are popping out is is the current level so what are you going to do you going to obviously pop out three node star you can say node is equals to q dot front right and you going to q you dot q dot pop now this node whatever these nodes are coming these are available in the current level now what are you going to do you obviously going to push those for the next level so we'll just going to check the left child left child if it is not null you can say that push it similarly right child it is nothing but a adjacency list if you talk about like people may be quite confused oh say i'm in graph we generally do a dfs using adjacency list we make a visited array but here you don't need to do that why but the, there is exactly the same thing we are doing we are iterating on the children and the neighbors since there is only a downward path so no need to track out a visited array because we are only going down 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 now there is no way up upcoming back there is no directed uh, uh, undirected graph very very important okay you push the right child push the le uh, left child and you push the right child if they are not null obviously and boom your job is done here you can say that you can remember the semantic so that you can solve any question here your level changes or at the start also you can assume that or at the end also you can assume that this while loop of size is a certain level and your level changes you keep on doing that so this is the overall while loop so that all levels are exposed and this is the present level while loop where nodes in the current loop exist and in this example i hope you understand that firstly it got to 1 and you got two elements 7 and 0 then what you going to do you going to push 7 also child 0 also child but since zero child are not there again there are only two elements in the third level also So this is how it's gonna be working. Fine. Now you can solve any problem from here. Now what they say? They say try to find out the sum of the elements of the uh, and find out the maximum. So what are you gonna do? You gonna define a sum. Remember that when your level starts, you can say level starts from here, from here, from above the while loop. You can say level changes or you can say level ends. So you can what are you gonna do? Here you can define your sum. In sum. equals to zero and what you going to do you going to just take the sum and you can do plus equals to node dot val if you have found the sum it's very simple right because you know where the level ends here your level ends what are you going to do you just going to compare you can just maintain what a maxi variable which will tell the maximum sum possible across all the levels current maximum what you are find uh sum is the current sum this is the global max until you have found global max 
यू फाउंड एंटिल नाउ दिस इज द करंट सम यू जस्ट नीड टू कंपेयर विद दिस ऑब्वियसली यू नीड टू फाइंड द करंट लेवल दिस इज द करंट लेवल एंड यू कैन से आंसर द फाइनल लेवल यू नीड टू रिटर्न which has corresponding the corresponding maximum sum to right these four variable you have to maintain and boom and this simplifies very very simple logic it's very simple right <clears throat> once you have figure out the sum you just need to compare oh max is greater than sum or you can say sorry sum is greater than maxi this means this is time to update the maxi maxi equals to sum your your answer changes to level and what you want to do you want to update your level because your level changes here so you can say level plus plus you can start with level equals to 1 and you can keep doing this again and again you can do any operation on level order travel so now it's your wish now remember that i am traversing like this 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 like uh this way you can traverse this way also it's very simple i hope you remember that how you can do that instead of pushing left first try to put right child first You will get zero seven and minus eight seven. Job like that. Let me just quickly show you the implementation. And I hope you will understand the things more greatly, right? So yeah, this is pretty straightforward. You maintain. Remember that Q of three node star. You have to make push the root. Maintain a max. You maintain a level. You maintain the answer. Then what you gonna do? You this is the global Q dot empty. You can say Q dot size. Whatever you want to make. find the current size these are the elements available in the current level this is the how you know and detect that the level got changed okay and then sum equals to 0 then you going to do a file size minus minus and then you found out the node you just push the left child you push the right child here these nodes are in the current level these nodes will be processed later on later okay and then what you going to do you just need to compare with sum with maxi maxi equals to sum max equals to level every time you increase the level after this while loop inside this but outside this while loop of size okay level changes and then you finally get the answer right i hope you understood the entire solution let me just quickly tell you the time complexity also uh, the time complexity is nothing but o of n you just finding out all the number of nodes in the tree and uh, nothing else you are not doing anything else you are not showing anything else also uh space complexity is of n also again because of the q so yeah this is the space and time complexity i hope you love the solution and like the video make sure you to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends and see you in the next video then keep learning goodbye